Anika. What is it? Why did I used to call it Anika? It's one brand that I have grown to really, really like their makeup. I haven't tried their skincare. I have some big favorites from them and I have a couple of flops and I'm gonna put them all on my face. It's more about product than it is about application because your girl's not a makeup artist. But if you wanna see how it all comes together, then stick around and let's get into it. We're doing headband today. It's elegant. That's what I strive for, elegance. I'm nailing it. There are gonna be links to everything that I apply today below in the description box. Don't forget to like the video, by the way, before I get into this, because it really helps with the algorithm. I mean, if you really like the video, like the video. It's two seconds, huge difference here, so thank you in advance if you like the video. If not, sorry. All right, we're gonna start with the base, and it's gonna be that base. It's gonna be the Anika Certified Organic BB Cream. It's 80% organic, okay? Okay. Have this in tan. This is one of the very first products that I purchased from Anika. It's kind of like a creamy BB cream. I've also tried their foundation. I don't like it as much as I like the BB cream. Hello. My redness on my face has gone down so much. My skin is so much happier. I'll probably do another video on that. You'll see a little bit of evening out. I just like how lightweight this is. I don't really need to do much. I. That's it. You know what's fun when you're two minutes in and your cart is full? <laughs> it's the best. Right. It has a bit of an off-putting scent at first. It smells, I said this before in the review, but it smells a little bit like walking into a Staples. Remember the days when you used to like walk into stores? But it dissipates and it doesn't bother me. The tan works really, really well for my skin color. It neutralizes the pink pretty well for me and I don't even have to touch it. I tried making my own little espresso. I do a solo shot of espresso usually if I get coffee, but I'm trying to do more organic products and a lot of places where I get coffee here don't have organic beans. So I made my own and it's quite delicious, I must say. And I'm not using single-use plastic. So FYI, this is the concealer. I have tried the other concealer, their first concealer that they came out with. Not a fan, wasn't a fan. Didn't like the consistency, didn't like the coverage. But this is the creamy concealer and I have this in sand. It's fuller coverage and it, it does an amazing job. It's really natural looking. I don't know if you can tell, but now at this point, normally, specifically in drier weather, I would not put on a loose matte foundation powder, but just to show you, I'm gonna use their loose mineral foundation powder in Trust. I happen to really like their foundation powders. The loose one, probably a bit more than the baked, but they're close. This one gives a little bit more coverage, I, I feel. I like loose powders anyway, so I'm just gonna apply here, 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 here. I can use this to set a little bit. And it doesn't look pancakey on me. I just did a little close up checky outy. That's a technical term. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not the finely milled, but it's not heavy in any way. But the good news is it's not, see, it's not really poofing much. It poofs a little. You got a little bit of poofage, but not much. What do I do next? Like, what do I always do next in my process? It's like my brain scrambles with the lights. You know what I mean? All right, I think I'm gonna do eyeliner. I'm gonna use their eye pencil in shade Caviar. This is a good, rich, pigmented black. It also glides on smoothly. There's no pulling. You can prime and set the lid, and specifically out here if you're doing a wing, sometimes it'll, you know, shift throughout the day. It's not the eyeliner that melts, though. It does not disappear for me, so is it all day? No. Is it pretty long lasting? Yeah. And it's a really nice saturated black. Sometimes you just kind of want that. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna look over here. Um, it's really hard to do and talk, so I'm just... It's also pretty forgiving as well. Once it goes on, you can kind of play with it with your finger, you can use a smudger, you can mess around with it a little bit and it'll work with you. It's not temperamental in terms of eyeliner. Some of them are just too creamy, some of them are too dry, you know what I mean? So, oh my God, by the way, I'm so excited I'm getting a new chair. Cause sitting in this, like it's a fun chair that I have, it's clear, but it makes me sit all funny, so I'm very excited about that. Total tangent. Anyway, the eyeliner's great. I just did a wing like I usually do. Nothing that crazy or new. Then I'm going in with some shadow. This is sort of not a highlight for me. This is the shadow duo, duo that I got. I haven't purchased a lot of their shadow. I just, this I was just, I was underwhelmed. I'm just gonna use the silver. Do a very light silver wash, cool tone. It's okay, it's just, I don't know. Out of all the things that I've purchased from Anika, this is the least remarkable. As you can tell, because I don't really have much to say about it. I'm not remarking on it. 
but sometimes I just want a cooler eye and I know during fall all the palettes that are coming out are all warm tones and I just want a cool tone. I don't know. I'm like opposite from the wave of what they're launching. I just like a cool tone come fall, winter. I don't know. I don't know. And my eyes, obviously. This is a pumpkin color. So pumpkin spice latte. Let's have more espresso. Okay. Great. Let's do some bronzer, guys. This is actually coming together pretty fast. I like it. So I am using their Baked Bronzer. I have this in Sunbeam. I also purchased this in the shade Sun Kissed. Mwah. But it was too subtle for me. I like a strong bronze. I like this because it's very easy to apply baked. It doesn't deposit a ton of product, as you can tell. I got plenty on the brush. It's not like it's not lifting onto the brush, which is one of my pet peeves for things like this. You can build very nicely with this. So for fair skin types, see, look at, do you see like the total difference in ingredients there? I don't know if you can, but I can, and I like it. But if you have fair skin types and you don't want too much of a bronze, when I first started doing this channel, I remember somebody say that, saying that to me, and they're like, why well, fair skin? So, and I technically kind of have fair skin, but I have some olive to it, but also some pink whatever, I'm all over the place. Remember them going, well, I don't wanna, you know, I don't want too much bronze. And I read the comment and I thought, what? Are you, what? How do you not want, how do you know? But now I understand. I understand. There's people who don't wanna look super duper bronzy. I just have a thing. I love a good bronzer. I feel like it just kind of brings me to life. Almost like a lipstick, but a powder. On the phone. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I have the blush too. I almost forgot one of my all time favorite products from Anika, and it is this Loose Mineral Blush in Blooming Nude. It's in the Brits Picks Guide. I love this color. It's this mix between a dusty rose, but then it gets really like a deep terracotta kind of swirled together and made into a powder. It's always interesting trying to come up with colors but hopefully you can tell. You don't really need a bronzer if you have this, I feel. It's just the warmer bronze option. It's not a cooler bronzer, which seems like it shouldn't exist, a cool bronzer, because bronzer's warm, but it does. Again, I've used it in place of a bronzer because I'm crazy like that. I'm gonna use it for a little bit of eyeshadow. I don't see why not. Oh good, a car alarm's going off, great. Okay guys, actually, I really, I just put this a little bit, again, not a makeup artist, but I just put a little bit of this on top of the cooler silver, which really is a cool pale silver. It's not a gunmetal or a darker silver. God, I'm nailing it with the color terms today, and I really usually do not. That combination, I really like. And then I have mascara. This is their curvy lash. I've tried their bold lash, I've tried like the basic one. I liked the bold. I actually really like the curvy. It's not because it curls my lashes. So that could be a huge deterrent for people who want really curly lashes. Also, I did not use lash curler. I know, I just can't, right? I just didn't. I don't want to. It deposits quite a bit of product. It separates the lashes nicely. It builds well and holds up for the majority of the day. This one doesn't flake on me. It's not one of those like messy or thicker mascara. So again, you're not getting the massive volume. I also think this is one of those mascaras that the more you use it, it needs some time after first being opened to really hit a good consistency. You know what I mean? Sometimes the mascaras, when you first open them, they're too wet, they're too this, they're too that. This one is a little bit wet on first application. I have found, and then after that, get some oxygen in there, which, you know, technically makes the formula go faster, but still. It also thickens it a little. I don't know, it kind of works just better for me after a while. There you go. That's two coats. Two coats, that's all you need. It was maybe three, it was maybe three. You know, I'm realizing, I don't think I have an Anika lip. I'm gonna use the Cure Weiss Genuine Lipstick. It's color genuine, by the way. It's their lipstick in color genuine. It's just kind of a nice everyday pink. I don't want to detract from the rest of the face since this isn't an eco. And then finally, one of my surprising favorite products from Anika is their highlighter in Dewdrop. It's just, it's baked obviously, but it's beautiful. It reminds me of the RMS Luminizing Powder in whatever the, mid, I think it's Midnight Hour. Wow, I can't believe I remember that. Very subtle. Very effective though. It's the highlighter that 
you can't tell that you put on a highlighter most of the time with one application. Of course, you can build it, but I really like this highlighter. It just gives a little bit, a little bit. And then when you build it, you will absolutely see it. It's not like it's a wussy highlighter. I don't know, just kind of a nice little glow. That's my glow face. This, I was, this is not a sponsored video. I, I paid for, I think all of these products actually. They did not provide any of these products for me. So my review here is just me talking about products I bought. Very easy, very subtle. The top picks here really for me are the BB cream. I've said it for a very long time. For those of you that are subscribers, you've heard me say it. So you're like, yes, I already know. Thanks, Brent. <laughs> Love this new concealer. I really, really do. I have been reaching for it. This blush thing is, it's a loose mineral blush. It's not a blush thing, it's a blush. It's a blush. I love this shade. Oh, the eyeliner I really like too. Those are the most heavily used items out of the bunch right now. The Illuminizer, it's just that I don't use it that often. I love it, I just don't use it that often. I do like the mascara. You know what, all of these I really like. I really like the majority of these except for the eyeshadow because I just, it might be the colors. I kind of like 99% of it. I really do. Thank you so much for watching this Get Ready With Me. I hope you enjoyed it. As much as I did, this was actually really fun and it was quicker and easier than I thought it would be. So it just goes to show you that when the products really work for your skin and you don't have to fuss with them, which is something that's huge for me, getting ready can be pretty quick and easy. If you did enjoy the video, again, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. You'll never miss a thing as the videos come through. I'm gonna go put this away and finish my espresso and film some more because I have a lot of ideas, so many ideas, and I wanna share them with you. I'll see you guys right back here real soon. Until then, uh, bye. Mm. Today we are going to, and by we, I mean me, but you're basically, you can do it with me and put on makeup. Um, um, what do I do next? Like